Hello Wildcats! Today we are going to log on to our CCGI accounts and take an interest profiler. So hopefully you're already on this website. If not, go ahead and stop for a moment and uh, get logged in californiacolleges.edu. Okay, once you're on, I want you to go under career and click on the button that says interest profiler. This will just bring you specifically to a, uh, a survey that's actually designed to help you understand what your uh, interests are and match them with careers so that maybe if you want to move towards something in the future that you know exactly what it is um, that that is. Now on this page, uh, it just gives you a brief outline of what the process looks like. So just go ahead and click start. And the way that you complete this survey, it's super easy, it's not graded. All this is is just, you're just responding to every question based off how you feel you would like to do something. So for example, this first question is, how would you like to build kitchen cabinets? For me personally, I would say, ah, I kind of dislike that. Um, next one, how would you like to lay brick or tile? You know, I'm not sure. I might, but, you know, I might not. I'm not really sure. So I'll click unsure. And you just go through all the questions. Um, it's about 10 pages long, but again, this is super easy. Each question only takes a couple of seconds. Once you've uh, answered all the questions on a page, just click next. There's a little graph. It'll show you the percentage of how far along you are. As you can see right here, I'm 8% of the way done. And I am well on my way to understanding more about my interests and how they relate to careers. Now, this is going to take about 15 minutes. So teachers, if you want to just pause it here, give your students about 10 to 15 minutes, go around and check on them. Make sure that they're understanding everything. Students, if you have a question on what any word or anything means, um, please don't, don't hesitate. Raise your hand and ask. Now, once you've completed your interest profile or you've finished the survey, your screen should look something like this. And there will be a couple of different descriptors, realistic, investigative, artistic, social and enterprising, oh, as well as conventional. Now, this is based off of something called the Holland Code. You don't need to remember that, but that's just what this is based off of. And it is basically, um, it's, it's just like categories to say, hey, you know, your interests fall in this area. Now, on this page right here at the very bottom, there is actually a, a section where if there was something that stuck out to you, you can go ahead and document that. So I like that I'm artistic. I'll save that and I'll click next. So now I'm gonna click on show careers, I'm all done. I wanna look at all these different careers and this page is all about matching what I like, what you like with the careers that might fall in place with that. And that's beautiful because if you're like me, you wanna do something that you enjoy. You don't wanna do something that's boring or that just seems like a pain to do, but you wanna do something that you enjoy, that you feel fulfilled and like you're feeling a purpose. Now over on this right hand side, you'll see these hearts and that is basically how you can like and save any, any career. And that's the beautiful thing because if something sticks out to you, you can go ahead and click on that and it will actually save and there will be a folder uh, saved exactly for that so you have that list later. So teachers, go ahead and pause it right here and then allow your students, allow your class to go ahead and uh, look and generate some curiosity around some different careers. Students, go ahead and like, save, click the little heart on at least two of those different careers and you're not committing to anything today, all you're doing is just checking to see what's out there because you might be surprised at what sort of jobs and careers might be available to, we, to you when you're older. Now, after you click on something and you save it, I want you to find a career that sticks out to you and go and click on the name. I clicked Art Therapist. Um, now you can go through and it will tell you all about the different responsibilities, what you do during the day, maybe some uh, uh, salary, which is basically how much money you might make or can expect to make in any given career. You can even look at, say, hey, like maybe those jobs are hot here in California, but they're not in New York or vice versa. Maybe you can say, hey, there's something in the Midwest that's really booming and there's a huge need and I would love to be able to do something like that. Moving might be in my uh, best interest later on in life. 
Now take a journey back with me to that career list where you saw all those matching careers based off of the things that you like. Now you might have noticed that in one of those center columns, it, it tells you about educational level. And a lot of uh, careers might require you to go and get an education at a college or a university. So let's see where we can go and learn more about those things that we like. Up at the very top, follow with me on your screen too, there's college. I want you to click college search tool. Now I am just going to type in, um, in my search bar, um, art therapist, because that's what I typed in, and that's what I clicked on before, and that's what I was looking at. So I'll uh, I will click and I will type in search for art therapy, and it will list out all the different colleges and universities in, in the United States that offer programs that can help me become an art therapist, if that's what I wanted to do. Now you can type in anything you want. If, if you are into production, or you are into media, or if you want to be a doctor, or help people in any way, um, you can search those things and it will show you different colleges. Now, I'm looking at Abilene Christian University and I like that they have a high acceptance rate. I like that it's a small school. There's less than 5,000 people there. So I'm going to favorite that and I, that will save to my account and I'll show you where you can find all those lists of the things that you have liked that you've clicked the little heart for. And you can always go up at the very top and you can filter through the things that you need, the things that you don't need. So teachers right here, what I would like for you to do is just go ahead and take a moment to pause and allow your students to look around and search for different colleges that might offer a program um, in your students' field of interest. Now I'd like to show you, class, where you can find all those things that you saved. Those little hearts that you clicked on that, that stuck out to you. Up at the top uh, bar where it says My Plan, that is going to be the hub, the center where you can find everything that you saved. My College Plan and My Career are going to be the two locations where you will find those colleges and those careers that were interesting to you. So I want you to click on uh, either one of those really, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and explore. Um, I'll click on my college plan just to look at some different colleges that stuck out to me. And those are all saved there. And that's nice because say you were checking something out and we go back and re we revisit this in a couple weeks or a couple months. And uh, it's sometimes it's hard to remember all these things. So this is a, is a neat tool that will actually allow us to be able to monitor and track our interests and the things that really stuck out that seemed like they they might be important to us later on in life. So go ahead and take a look right here. You can pause it right here if you need to. But in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of click around and just explore. And I, in class, I encourage you to do the same thing. So as a final comment, I just wanted to say that this website can be used from anywhere. I said it in the last video, but I want to say it again. Um, anything with an internet connection, you can get on this website. Just remember that that top right lock icon, that is where you sign in. Use your Google account that you got from school. Now again, this is a website. It's a tool for you to use. Make sure that you utilize it because there was a famous person who said once that those who fail to plan are planning to fail but that is not you because you are Vista Heights Wildcats and you are getting prepared and ready for your future uh, so that you can be the most successful and the best version of you. See you Wildcats.